Hey, what's up guys? E-Man Gaming here, and today I'm doing another episode on my Terraria tutorial series. So I was just like, down mining, get, trying to get a, lot, a bunch of materials, and I noticed that when I took the mini-map, I didn't see it pop up, but I have a traveling merchant. So I'm gonna check that out real quick, so I'm just gonna use this, go back home. Uh, so the traveling merchant is an NPC that can appear randomly. I think there's like a certain chance of spawning every morning once there's a certain amount of NPCs. And they'll stay around for the as long as the day is. And they'll sell you, they sell you some random stuff. There is some pretty rare stuff you can get from them. Nothing really I can afford right now that I really want to buy. But they're pretty cool. So I've been doing some mining. Not much interesting stuff has happened. What I really wanted to get was a heart crystal. So I can get another heart and get a nurse to move in. But I haven't been able to find one yet. Uh, I did put a sunflower here. Uh, the reason for that is because there's a little buff you get up here. That movement speed is increased and monster spawns are reduced when you have a sun when you're in range of a sunflower. So I was going mining and I had some, I just made some, I got, some, I got a bit more tin. I uh, should be able to make some stuff pretty soon here. Um, so what can I make from that? So I've got, I can make an iron broadsword, uh, let's see, it's 10, this also does 10 though. Because it's got special stuff, let's see, it's fast speed, average knockback. Okay, I might, I'll hold off on that for now. Um, I'm gonna make an iron pickaxe. How many hours do I have? 13, how much is this type? 12. I don't know. Oh, I'm not gonna make that right now, so there's not really much I'm gonna make right now. This point in area, usually it just requires a lot of, um, mining, and, like, a lot of mining. And that's really all I've been doing. I haven't gone off in this direction very much. Um, so other than that, I'm still trying to get used to these controls again, because I've been playing so much 1.4 on PC. But, yeah, I wasn't, I'm not really sure, honestly, what to do at this point in, like, the tutorial, because there's not much you can do. There's a desert here, I don't know if I'm ready for that yet. Well, I'm pretty bored right now, I might as well, so this will be, I can talk about these, these are desert caves, these have, like, they're bigger, more expansive. I believe this is where you can actually find the golfing, golfing NPC. In 1.4, but obviously this isn't 1.4. Um, I don't really know if I'm ready. I will probably die down here. But I just wanted to check it out. Um, another demon altar over there. Um, yeah, I'll make a video on the golfing NPC when I get one. Ow. That's the problem. Okay, I accidentally healed. I do that a lot in this. I didn't kill this guy. There we go. Yeah, the, the underground desert can be pretty tough. Uh, it's not really that useful as of right now. Okay, there's some ore. There we go, there's some iron. Honestly, I don't know what this, this video is going to be. I mean, I might go talk to the traveling merchants again. Maybe not. Traveling merchants just usually just go in and check. Occasionally, they'll have something useful. Like, they can... S well, no. There's some stuff that they can sell that's useful, but... Not anything... They, this guy didn't have anything. It's all random every time. There might be a couple items that are there always, but I don't think so. Um, so yeah, at this point in area, you're just going to want to mine a lot. Uh, there's a guy, I'm going to have to watch out for him. I hate those guys that come through the walls. It's like you never know when they're going to come next. Should we get me up there for this? Yes, we can. Okay. Let's just dig through here. But yeah, 1.4, I've been playing a lot of that. So this is... I plan to start a series on a modded series on PC actually. That'll probably be the next video I put up. Um, yeah, I was on here for like 20 minutes just trying to find something interesting, and I really couldn't. I decided to start recording when I saw the traveling merchant because I, I realized I didn't, guess I haven't recovered that really covered that yet. Some silver. Okay, there's more over here. So yeah, these other guys. The, the most the most your the buy uh. The biome you're going to do the most mining in is going to be the jungle biome. Because the jungle biome, it, it's especially in hard mode, it's, or if you use a lot of magic, um, you're going to be using the jungle biome a lot. For many reasons. Let's see, we got anything on? Okay, here's some stuff. Now we're beginning to something interesting. I can't believe I've survived this long. Usually I like to avoid desert. I usually don't go to desert caves much at all really but i really have nothing else to do right now so i found an entirely another an entire 
at least new cave, entirely new cave. And there's nothing there. Oh, there's just another guy of those. They don't seem to be attacking me. There's some more ore. Oh yeah, those guys. Those guys are gonna want to avoid. Oh, and I fell in there. Well, I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. So, this is why I usually avoid desert biomes at the start. This might be. This will probably be a shorter video. Um, not sure even what I'm gonna call it yet. But this is really just a miscellaneous kind of thing. Oh, I have more iron bars in here. Oh, I should. I. Wow, I threw a lot of ore in here before. Okay. This changes a lot of stuff. I might actually get some armor in this episode besides wooden armor. Let's see what we can craft here. Yeah, I can craft some gold. Five gold bars, not really enough to do anything, but still. Silver. We have three silver. Iron, I have a bunch more iron ore. Oh, there's 17. I have 35 bars of iron. Okay. That's definitely enough to do some stuff with. Do I have any other bars? No, I think that's it. Uh, I don't have any other chests. I'm going to have to make another chest at, this, at some point, but... I'm actually not going to make an iron sword yet. I am going to make... Iron chest plate. Yeah, I'm going to craft this. That takes 30 iron bars. How much does a chest take? Two. Okay, yeah, I'll make this. Craft that. And I'll make a chest as well. Put the chest down here. So I'm gonna call this my. I'm just gonna call this chest like treasure, basically. I'm gonna put all my ore and bars into this chest, and so basically, whenever I come back from mining trip, this will be the first place I go to. Uh, this I can just throw away. This I can just throw away. I'm also. Uh, I'm gonna make another chest actually for potions and other and potions ingredients. Those are the first two chests I like to make. Where's the chest? Do I not have enough? Oh, I put it all in here. Right. Which, usually I just like grab chests, but I haven't actually seen a lot of chests laying around. Okay, yeah, there's a. Tra I was about to say the traveling merchant's gonna leave soon. He'll leave us once evening hits. So I'll make this chest here, place it down, and you can name your chest as well. That's what I'm gonna do. So put this back here. Oh yeah, uh, put the iron armor on. So I'm with the nine defense because I have this. This is a really good accessory. I got really lucky with this awarding shackle. It gives me an extra five defense, so I'm up to nine now. Um, so I'm gonna name, I can, this treasure, this chest is my, for like, I'm just gonna call it treasure, so I'm gonna, I can rename it, so I'll name this, one, see this loads, there we go, and then I will name this one, just name it potions, it'll be potions as well as potion ingredients, I hope I spelled that right, um, so, and seeds for potion ingredients. Uh, not recall potions, I need those. Um, so like, any extra potions I just happen to have lying around. Not healing potions, so I need those when I'm out. Uh, day blooms, I definitely want to put those in there. Recall potions and healing potions I'm going to want to keep with me, though. Uh, I'll, know, I'll, I'll, I'll just have this chest up here, as just like my miscellaneous chest. So I'll just throw stuff like this in here. I'll, I'll take these, these two on my potions chest. Okay, now the music just changed, so now it's nighttime. Uh, I'll just take this, throw it in there, throw this in here. Day blooms are always very good. As soon as I get a dryad, which I get from defeating a boss, I'm gonna get, I'll buy some planter boxes and make a little day bloom farm. Very helpful. So, hopefully I'll be able to get the next episode, I'll want to get a full set of iron armor. And once I've got that, um, the next episode may or may not be fighting the first boss of the game. Depends on how much work I do off camera. I'll put that in here. Uh, so yeah, I think this is going to be the end of this video. Um, I will... Yeah, so I've got enough lenses to make uh, items. So yeah, I can... I will. The next episode should be fighting the Eye of Cthulhu. Which is always a big step in Terraria fighting the first boss. So that's it for this video. It's a bit shorter. So, but uh, I will see you guys in the next video. So goodbye.